Hello everybody, I am Jason, hi. I don't know what to do today, the weather's kind of like, eh. It's probably like 4pm or something, I don't know anymore. I don't know what to do. Check out this trippy effect in the clouds. Look at that. Pretty weird. There's just a crack. Weird. So there isn't too much daylight left. I'm just gonna go for a quick walk in the castle here. And then I gotta go into town to run some errands. And then we'll find something to do after that. These yellow and green leaves. Cool. So this garden's, it's got a mixture of plants and trees and things that aren't really native to the UK. Some enormous beasts. Very happy that this place is protected. I wanted to start today off by saying thank you. Thank you to everybody that's been watching my videos. I make this vlog mostly for myself so I can watch it back in the future and it keeps me... It's like a... A vlog is just a video diary. So, usually diaries are not supposed to be read, but when they are, they become a story, and that's what I'm making. I'm making a story and a movie of my life, kind of just documenting everything. I think it's really cool. Video logging is also a way to store memories, because I don't remember things. I, I can hardly remember anything, but I don't need to because I'm storing most of my memories visually here. And then when I rewatch them, it, it jolts that memory back into my mind. So yeah, I'm mostly doing this just for myself. But the fact that other people are interested in what, what I'm up to, it's really fascinating to me. And I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that people actually care. And all the comments that I read are really nice. Like this week, especially, you guys have been very, very nice. Especially on the video I, where I was just having a horrible day. I thought I made such a terrible video. But I, I didn't really want to share it. Um, because those are the kind of days that I would usually lock myself away and just hide from the world. But I can't do that. I, ha I have to show everything. And the fact that I did show my bad days, um, a lot of people could relate to that. And they were just, yeah, really nice in the comments. And just, thank you. So I haven't really had any social interaction in a while. Like, physical interaction. And then this month, I've got like three people that want to hang out with me. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> How did I go from nothing to all of a sudden three different people? So now I'm trying to work my schedule around these, these three visitors. Yeah, I'm just excited. I'm excited to get some human interaction in my life again. Having conversations off the vlog, like, <laughs> all I do is talk to you guys, because you, that's all I have right now. Today I really need to do some ad administrative work. I have to make some purchases. I know I've been talking about this for days, but I get, I'm getting a bit of anxiety just thinking about it. Um, so I need to get it out of the way because maybe that is why I feel so poop. Um, today, today I feel good, but my, my mood is fluctuating so much. I think it's because I'm putting off this really big task for my business. But we're, we're just gonna smash it out today. We'll get the purchase done. Then I can stop thinking about it, get my brain back. Um, and then there'll probably be some, some downtime where I'm just waiting for material to arrive. And then it's all systems go, start, start tie-dyeing. Um, you guys were suggesting just to film the tie-dyeing. Of course, that's what I plan to do. Yeah, you guys can spend the whole day with me while I work. We'll do some time lapses and also just like, explaining what I'm doing, showing my experimentation, because I've never done ice dyeing before. I want to just play around. Like, that's why tie-dyeing is so fun. There is no right or wrong answer. There is only doing, and I'm gonna do it. I'm excited. I'm excited to get some clothes again. Like. I've deliberately not bought any clothes in a long, long time, many years, because I want, I want to make my own stuff. I don't like wearing other people's creations. I want, I want to wear my own stuff because I'm, I'm creative too. I can also create. We all can. Everyone can make things, and then it makes us uniquely different when we're all wearing random stuff that we've made. The outfit I have on right now is so boring because I don't make any of it. I just bought it because it was all black. Last time I was here, you guys explained that this is a redwood. So, uh, yeah, got my own redwoods here in North Wales. It's pretty cool. 
I do I do miss the redwood forest in uh, North California and Oregon. But we've got some here, some that I can enjoy. Hey, look at the circumference. Look, look how massive the base of this thing is. Just layers and layers of it. The bark is so spongy, I don't know if you can tell, but like, do you, do you see the sponge? See how it just squishes it? Fascinating. And there's a couple of them around here. There's one over there. Let's go. Let's go see all of them. Oh, there's one there too. Okay, let's go see that one first. I don't know how long they've been here, but the castle was built a couple hundred years ago, so they were probably planted around the same time. Have any of you guys been here long enough to remember the vlogs I made in in the redwood forest? Because I went out there for a couple of weeks and, and spent like winter there on my own, just exploring the forest. It was so magical. I was well stoned most of the time but it was so nice it was really nice i'd love to go and do that again i would love for everyone to experience that like the redwoods are magical especially the big ones in california really magical trees something about being among giants that just makes you feel so small and it's like a nice comforting small feeling So random seeing bamboo in Wales. <laughs> I suppose most plants can grow in these in these climates, but people just don't plant them. I'm very very excited for the day I can make my own garden. It's going to be so so unusual. I'm going to plant things people didn't think was possible. Peaceful walk down here. Like I haven't, I haven't said a word. Just enjoying myself. Loads and loads of birds returning to the woods. Winter's always quiet, but now they're coming back a bit. I'm excited for the warmer months when all the the birds from the south migrate back up here. And bring back their song. For some reason these gloomy days with the uh, the grey and the green, they look so nice together. Like I love blue and green, but grey and green is actually also really nice. Like when it doesn't rain and it's kind of warm. I don't know, I don't know what it is. The gloomy, gloomy, I don't know, it makes the green look different. I have like infinite walks that look just like this. But sometimes the ones closest to home, they're like the nicest. I don't know what it is. I could drive for three hours and have the same kind of experience. But the ones like 10 minutes away, they're actually really nice. One day when it's actually nice, like sunny, I will bring you guys into the castle. They have like a whole, a whole garden inside. This is the outside garden. The one you can just go for free. No one's here right now. Place is empty. <laughs> I wonder if I could sneak in. Pretty massive, so I just explored this area down here. They've got all of this. There's even like an actual garden. So yeah, one day when it's nice, so we'll come back in here properly. And yes, I can definitely sneak in. It's very easy. I've considered it many times doing it at night time, but I want to show you in the day. But uh, it's very easy to get in. It'd be nice to like pick a busy day so no one even bats an eye that I'm in there. If I pick a day like today, where it's just nothing, 
there's no one here. It'd be quite obvious that I haven't paid for a ticket. <laughs> Thing is, I have bought tickets to this place many times. I just don't want to keep doing it. Because I want to be here every day. Fun fact, out of high school I did some voluntary work here at the castle. I was here for a week, so I actually did some gardening work here in the car park. I did some work stewardessing inside the building. Uh, what else did I do? I, I did a lot of really boring basic jobs, but it gave me an excuse to be here for a whole week where I didn't have, didn't have to buy a ticket. I could just walk in. It was nice. I mean, the people here are lovely. It's mostly run by volunteers, but there's also a full paid staff. And obviously the cost of the property is expensive to maintain. It's pretty massive. It was never a medieval castle. It was like made pretty modern by the guys who own the slate quarry nearby. So there's no like war damage or anything. It's all it's all intact. The only damage they have is from leaks. But yeah, it's a beautiful place. Um, last time I was there, I was actually on mushrooms. <laughs> I was just walking around like <laughs> inside this giant castle. Hey, I'm also happy that you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. I, I, I was literally babysitting. I had to babysit for a few hours and I made a piece of content out of it and you guys were like, hey, this is pretty good. So thank you. Thank you, I'm glad. I'm glad that I'm able to turn really mundane tasks into content. Yeah, thanks guys. It, it means a lot. It means I'm actually getting better at this vlogging thing. <laughs> so I managed to get myself locked in. I got myself locked in because I was distracted. And I had to climb over that. A bit of a challenge. But hey, we did it. So somebody gifted 10 subs on Twitch and then asked me to wear the green screen suit. So now here I am in the green screen suit. But we've had some we've had some ideas. We've had an idea to do a, a nude vlog. So we'd have to avoid people for a whole day. I don't know how I would do that. And then vlog in this and also stream in this so I could be walking around in Minecraft fully fully green. It should be a floating head, I guess. So much. Yeah, there oh, we go. Uh oh, yeah. And what else? Oops. <laughs> uh, undo quickly. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sh Did I do that? Yeah, you shifted the whole world across. Okay. Oh, no, but no. You nearly decapitated the Sphinx. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? But I didn't do that. Oh, no. Oh, no, his what house happens? got moved. Oh, no. How do we fix that? Anywhere, like I put them both ways and they don't put me on. Then the server crashed and we have to So, that's what's going on. Yeah, that's it. Wow. That's it then, we did it. Yeah. Damn. It actually looks really natural. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that was a really fun stream. Um, everything was going fine. We finished my pirate ship. We were building, building a canal. And as we're building the canal, the server crashes. We come back on the server. There's a giant chunk that's been displaced. It's been moved over a few blocks. We spend like two hours trying to fix this. If you were there, you were there. You witnessed that madness. It was really fun. We got a bunch of new subs. We're now, we've now got 156 subs on Twitch, which is crazy. You guys are just wild with the gifting, so I thank you everybody. I need to eat. It's two in the morning now. I had a lot of fun, but it's two in the morning. Like, fun, sleep, sleep, fun. It's gonna be a late night. I'm gonna go eat something. I haven't eaten anything yet, so. Let's go make some food. I found this in the store. I didn't need it, but just look at the size of that. <laughs> I got it for like two bucks. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Mr. Jasp over there in the dark. Oh, that was a delicious meal. I'm glad I put the effort in. Um, ever since I made that vlog explaining that nutrition's really important to me now, I haven't stopped cooking. Like, I've cooked for myself every night. Usually I would eat, like, raw half the week, and now I'm not. I'm just, just doing cooked, and it feels great. I'm trying to expand my scope my knowledge on vegetables. Um, I've been vegan for probably six years and it's only now that I really realized the importance of effort. 
put in put in the effort. You can die, it has to be full on. It has to be you have to put all the effort in it. Yeah, I have Poppy and Charlie to really thank because they're the ones that inspired me to actually care because I've seen how much care they put into their own food. My mum also, she puts a lot of effort into her food, but the stuff she makes, I don't like it. It's not like, it doesn't taste as good as the stuff people my age make, and I don't know what, why that is. Maybe she just has different taste buds, but yeah, Poppy and Charlie are like my age, so they make nice food that I like. <laughs> is that weird? I don't know. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for hanging out once again. Thanks to everyone on Twitch. Like we gained another 20 subs. So we're at like 156 subs now. That's insane. It's quite overwhelming, but thank you. I, I really appreciate it. All the money generated through Twitch goes into the server costs. So um, yeah, you guys are covering the cost of the server. It's, it's amazing, I appreciate it. So you get free content. We have a free server to play on. It's a win-win for everyone. So thanks guys. If these vlogs aren't enough, Come hang out on Twitch, like we just listen to music and make stuff in Minecraft, like it's it's really chill. These vlogs are like 15-20 minutes, but it's my whole day. I put my whole day into the, into the vlog, and then the rest of it I spend on Twitch, so... You guys are getting all my energy right now, putting everything into this. Yeah, the pants... The pants has to be my effort tomorrow though. I have to make the purchase. I'm nervous. Fear isn't real. Bye.